Hey guys, it's Master back with another Minecraft vid. Been working on this area a bit lately, and uh, yeah, I thought I'd show you a bit of the progress. So, the first thing I'll show you is a little pop up bridge that I built. So, you can see that there's a bit of a thing under the water here. Only trouble is it actually breaks the water. So, hit the button, you can see a bridge pops up, leads across to the secret room in there, so everything still works here. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so, a bit of a technical difficulty there, but uh, like I said, everything still works. Um, you can see the, the bridge pops up. Uh, it's linked into the the switch for the doors here in the mini temple. So we hit this, bridge disappears, doors open. So this basically means when you walk in here there's no bridge and uh, when you want to actually get out of the temple the doors close and the bridge appears. So cool little, cool little thing. Uh, I'll drop down here and give you a look. So you can see it's a mass of redstone torches, uh, massive pistons. Uh, delay, so I originally had it pop up as one big slab, but I think it looks much cooler if you have half of it on a four tick delay and the other half on a zero delay, so it sort of pops up in stages. All the wire uh, runs in from the uh, J-type flip-flop uh, out here, so all I've done is one of the outputs that runs up to this piston has been split. Um, probably actually get rid of that. So. It runs down out of this output into a couple of repeaters and um, yeah it turns off all these switches from one of the buttons is pushed. It works really well. So when the button is pushed and the torches go out the pistons come back down and the water flows back in. When you push the button again all the torches turn on, pistons pop up and you can walk across. So. Quite a neat little circuit, happy with how it turned out. Uh, you need a lot of room to hide it down here, but uh, that's what that area down there is for. Now, next thing I'll show you is the Mega Temple. Dun, dun, dun. So you can see I've made a bit of progress on this slide here. He's pretty gigantic compared to the little temple over there. Uh, I wanted to make sure that I just got the, the outsides of it done and try and get the basic shape of it done before I start filling it in and maybe making an entrance, big entrance or something like that to it. Uh, most of the area down there that you see, this area here, is actually where the waterfall is, where in the previous video you could see where the tunnel leads, so I can't actually knock that down. Uh, and most of this top section is... Uh, an area that hides all of the wiring for the secret doors. So maybe a bit of wasted space, but there's still a lot of space here to work with. So I'll definitely do something with that. You can also see over here, you can see my cliffside home now, which is uninterrupted. And you can see that there's the, the hot tub. Little bedroom, little garden, float down. I've built a little bit of an underground railway that goes through there. You can see that the actual track that used to run across here to the temple has been removed. It's now running through that mountain and it runs through an underground sort of tunnel here that keeps it safe. Then it runs through that little part of the mountain and then pops out here. So much neater rather than having it run past the temple. See it pops out there, and the railway goes all the way up there. I still haven't gone up there. I should go up there and show you Colossus's house one of these videos, but you can see Mega Man has been moved over here. I slid him across in the uh, MC edit, the Minecraft editor. Very good for moving large objects, so that's how Mega Man was moved. And uh, yeah, quick quick update for you there people, just thought I'd show you the progress on the big temple um, and the uh, pop-up bridge. Hello squids! Oh, I've also got the fly mod 
installed from the zombie mod pack, which is fantastic. Uh, it's really good to to give sort of server tours and things like that. Uh, there's still a lot of the server I haven't showed. I'll definitely have to go in and show show you guys that. But float up and give you a bit of an overview of the land. Awesome, awesome mod, the fly mod. Uh, great, great for videos. So hit F1, use fly mod, you get no HUD, and you get videos like this. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please comment in the video if you want to know anything or if you want to see anything, and uh, I'll catch you later.